Our last movement left is facing to the southwest. This movement is going to turn us back to facing the east. As always, I'm going to begin as if I started the form facing you. From our last movement, we're going to look at the footwork first, then we'll add the hands. From here, you're going to turn to the east by pivoting on the right heel, your weight still on the left leg, and you turn the toes till they reach southeast. Then you're going to set the toes down and shift to the right leg, turn, pick up the left leg, step out, gently touch with the false step. So you're rooted in the right, the left is barely touching. What the hands are doing from here is you have the right hand dropping down and it's scooping across, coming up on the left side, opening across to the right, and then you're settling back to face forward because you're twisting a little bit to the right when that arm opens up. What the left arm is doing is it's just dropping down really to the left side. So as the right hand climbs up, the left drops down, then you open and settle. But you're going to be doing that facing to the east. So from here, you pivot on the right heel till that foot is facing to the southeast. The left hand goes under the right arm here, and you reach across so you can slide in front of it. So from here, turn, plant the right foot pointing to the southeast, shift, and as you're shifting, that right arm's climbing up on the left side, the left arm's dropping down. As you pick up the left leg, you open the arm, the right arm over to the right side. Then as you sink back and settle to the front or to the east, you set the left toe down and you turn your body so that it's square with the east. Again from here, we're going to turn the right foot to the southeast, bringing the right hand across in front of the left arm. The left arm is going to drop down as the right arm climbs up on the left side. Open across to the right, picking up the left leg. Settle back to face east, right arm up high, palm up toward the ceiling, left hand, palm down toward the ground, rooted in the right leg, left leg's barely touching the floor. Now I'll show you as if I'd started the form facing this way. So this is south for me, toward you is west, away from you is east. Our last movement, left is facing to the southwest. From here, we're going to drop in front of the left arm with the right arm, pivoting on the right heel till it's facing southeast here. Reach up on the left side of the body with the right arm. Open and settle. Again from our last movement, we start facing southwest. We're going to turn to the right toe is pointing to the southeast. Right arm sweeps in front of the left. The left arm drops down. Open, picking up the left leg. Turn to face east settling the leg down. Now I'll show you as if I'd started the form facing away from you. So directly away from you is south, to my right is west, to my left is east. Our last movement left is facing to the southwest. So we're going to turn till that toe is pointing to the southeast, shift to the right leg, reach up on the left side of the body with the right hand, open, and settle to face east. Once again, starting facing southwest, we're going to turn so that the right toe is facing southeast, drop across in front of the left arm with the right arm. Shift to the right leg, climb up on the left side of the body with the right arm, open, and settle. Now I'll demonstrate as if I had started the form facing this way. So once again, this would be south for me, Away from you would be west, directly towards you would be east. Our last movement left us facing southwest. From here, we're going to pivot till the right foot is pointing off to the southeast. At the same time, the left hand drops behind the right arm. And the right arm sweeps across the front of the left arm. Reach up on the left side of the body with the right hand. And as you do that, notice how the left hand drops down to the left side. Open up and settle. Again from here, turn, shift to the right leg, reach up on the left side of the body with the right hand, open, picking up the left leg. The body turns slightly toward the southeast here, 
and then it's going to turn back to the east as you settle. From our last movement, we turn the right foot toward the southeast, reach across in front of the left arm with the right arm, reach up on the left side of the body with the right arm, open, and settle. To give you a better view of what the hands are doing there, from here, you're sweeping across and sliding up here as you push across down here, then opening and settling. So make sure the right hand goes in front of the left as you come across. You have a push down with the left, push up with the right, and an open with the right, and then a settle back to center. So from here, the right hand sweeps across in front of the left, comes up on the left side, opens, and you settle back to face center. That's all that there is to this move. I hope you found this video very helpful. Thank you for watching. So I want to talk to you about something that I found absolutely invaluable for me while I was training in China. Now, while I was over there, I was training six to eight hours a day, five days a week, and that is a lot of training. And as you can imagine, it takes a lot of energy to do that kind of training. So something that I had sent to me while I was over there to make sure I could keep my energy up was what's called Pure Trim. And they're basically meal replacement shakes. Now, they're used a lot of times for weight loss. Um, if someone's looking for a meal replacement that has a lot of good nutrients in it, that's gonna supply their body with the nutrition it needs while helping them lose weight rather than starving them while they're trying to lose weight. This is an excellent way to go and that's kind of what the product was designed around, the concept that it was designed around. But also if you're just in a hurry, like I'm a college student, I teach, I work, I have a lot of stuff going on, so I don't always have time to make a meal, but I don't want to revert to like eating fast food from a fast food place because I know that's not healthy at all. So if you're like me and you very rarely have time to prepare a proper meal, um, it's a great way to still get your nutrition and be able to continue your daily routine. So it comes in a box like this. The box has 10 packets in it. So it's little packets like this, and each one of those packets is basically a meal replacement. So even if you're not in a hurry and you're not necessarily looking for a nutritious fast food, the thing that I love most about these shakes is that they give you a lot of energy. They don't have like caffeine or any of the other normal stimulants that you would find. Um, they're just good nutrition. So your body can use that nutrition to actually access all the energy in the food that you're eating rather than having to try to stimulate your body with something like caffeine. So that was the main thing that I noticed when I was using these shakes while I was over in China. So that at least was my experience with these shakes. I'm in love with them. I share them with anyone that I know that is looking either for more energy or a quick way to have a healthy meal on the go. If any of that sounds interesting to you, then check them out. Pure Trim Shakes, there's vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate flavors. You can get them at the website that's right here at the bottom of the screen. Check them out, Pure Trim.